Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my finale for my Rolling Project 10 pan for 2023. I saw my friend Alex take a panning break the month of December last year, and I thought that was such a brilliant idea, and I can definitely, I have felt the last couple of months, like I definitely just need a break from project panning so that I can be excited for it again come 2024. I think I might ease back on the number of, of projects I'm doing next year just so it feels like I'm panning less. Like I feel like I'm getting to a point where like I enjoy panning but like I don't want to be panning as much as I have been. So I have three products that I have finished off today which I'll be sharing with you as well as where the other six products are going to be ending. I rolled the product out last update and I did not roll in a replacement since I knew I would only have one month left to work on it. So I only have nine products to update you on. Before we get into it, I just want to share that up until this update, I had reached my goal on 13 products throughout this project this year. My goal was obviously to hit 23 goals in 2023 that did not happen even with the three products we only made it to 16 but that's okay because i believe with the exception of one product um all of those were products that i had actually ended up emptying out so 15 total empties created from this project alone i am very happy with if you guys are interested in what products um i actually did finish up the three products i finished and my progress on the rest stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup i'd love you'd consider subscribing before moving on but other than that let's jump into the video all right you guys i have one product that has been in since the introduction that is an empty and i'm so happy to report that my little Tom Ford lipstick is indeed an empty. Granted, I did not scrape everything completely out, but it is flush with the packaging. And I've even like dipped my finger in a little bit lower. I mostly use this as a cream blush at the end, but I'm so excited to have a lipstick empty for my end of year empties. It did take effort. I thought this was a really beautiful formula and a really beautiful shade, but Tom Ford is so expensive. I can't imagine myself going out to purchase this in a full size but i did really like the shade it was i believe if i didn't say indian rose really beautiful pink shade i really enjoyed it as a cream blush as well and i'm just so excited to have this as an empty this next product is also an empty maybe i'll save this for the end i'm gonna save it for the end i'm gonna save my other two empties for the end okay what is not exciting what's not exciting is this single shadow that i rolled in last update this one right here um i don't even know if i reached for this one time so that's where we're ending with that i did end up hitting i think two maybe three eyeshadow pans in this project in my single collection this year so i'm excited about that i'm going to do a different eyeshadow project next year for my singles so stay tuned for that but not exciting progress there I also rolled in my Nabla bronzer um, a couple of months ago and just wanted to see how much progress I could make. This is something I do want to try and finish up next year. I have used this so much though and I feel like, <laughs> like I feel like the end is nowhere in sight. Although I will say like it is very, very low, this upper, like the upper part of the bronzer, the product is very, very low, but it just feels like there's still so much on the bottom because this is a baked product. I feel like it just goes on and on and on and on forever. I worked on this like six, five or six months last year as well. And I don't even have like a pan, like I can't even see the waffle pan yet. So that's where we ended. I don't know if I have pictures even to share of this. I'm hoping I do. If I do, I hopefully share them over on the side here. Next up, we have this Westman Atelier highlighter. This is the lit up stick in the shade, the highlighter stick in the shade lit up. Um, mine always ends up looking just like so sloppy. I rolled this in, in May, hoping to finish this. This is how much product we have left. Not a ton. I didn't want to force myself to reach for this every day because this is a more expensive product. I didn't want to force myself to reach for it just to use it up. I am very confident in my ability to finish this up next year. I have mentioned this many times on my channel before, but this is like a stickier highlight. Um, so just not something that I want to reach for on an everyday basis, but it does just give this beautiful gloss and this beautiful glaze to the skin. Um, I actually paused my gym membership the last three months, but it starts back up again, um, actually today, the day that this video is going live. And I do like to have a glossy face for the gym. So you know what? Maybe I'll get more use out of this now that we're going to the gym again. All right, next 
next up the mary luminizer has been in for a couple of months and i just wanted to see how much i could expand the pan here that i had going in the center and i feel like i did a decent job of expanding the pan some the first month that this was in i don't feel like i reached for it too much but i really did try and make a valiant effort the last couple of months a champagne highlighter is not my first choice i do love a pink highlighter and so naturally this isn't like my first natural instinct to reach for this is one of the oldest if not the oldest highlighter in my collection though so i just wanted to see what i could do with this and i'm very happy that i feel like the pan has expanded some we'll see how this progresses <laughs> i'm like i can't get myself to declutter mary luminizer the mary luminizer but there's so much product left in that i've been working on this urban decay eyeliner since may this is in the shade space dust this is how much of this pencil i have left i feel like i've made decent progress on this throughout the year it is this really beautiful kind of like dirty gold sort of shade and you really can pair this with both cool tone and warm tone looks i would say i reach for this on average two to three times per week so i am really happy with the progress that i've made potentially this is something maybe i would try and finish next year there's still quite a bit of pencil left in this so i think it would take the majority of the year especially considering i only reach for it two or three times a year but it would be nice to move another eyeliner out of my collection eyeliners just take so long to get through and it would be nice to roll like not a black or a brown eyeliner out of my collection so maybe that'll be a goal for next year um but i am happy with the progress i made on that when i rolled that in in may i knew that i was not going to finish that eyeliner by the end of the year i just wanted to see how much progress i could make so i'm pleased with my progress there the tower 28 sunny days foundation i rolled in a couple of months ago as well um, i believe i rolled this in in september um so when i rolled this in we were right here and we've made decent progress i was hoping to finish two foundations throughout the course of this project this year but i actually only ended up finishing the kosas and i have about a fourth of this left this is something that is definitely better suited to me when i have more of a tan and i just have not been self tanning as frequently which isn't a bad thing uh, but i do not see myself finishing this throughout the month of december especially as i have started to like i have some real favorite foundations currently in my collection and so this just isn't something i'm excited to reach for right now so i do want to finish this next year but did not hit my goal of finishing it in 2023 all right and then the final two products i have to share are both empties so i am so excited about this one this is my stila wander stila glitter and glow in the shade wanderlust I purchased this last year and I was kind of ashamed that I purchased it because I'm like, I don't use products like this. So I rolled it into this project to give myself extra motivation and remind myself to reach for this. When I rolled this in, I had about a three fourths or maybe like two thirds of the product left. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the line markings. Um, I did take the stopper out. It was getting very, very dry at the end to the point where I would literally like scape, scrape product out and then like, I had a glitter glue down and I would like rub the glitter off. There was a lot of fallout the last few times that I used this product. Um, but I really, really enjoyed using this. I did roll this in in February. So it was a year long effort to finish this up. If these did not dry out so quickly, I really would want to purchase more shades. I would say I would only purchase these though if they were half off. Like I do not think they're worth $24 because they just dry out so quickly. They are so beautiful though and they really, really add a really beautiful pop to the eye. If ever I was feeling a look looking duller than I wanted, I would just pop this on and I always loved the way that it looked when I popped it on. But it's just, it dries out so, so quickly. But I'm very, very excited that I get to call this an empty and add another empty product to my 2023 empties which will be coming at the end of december and then the final product i knew i was going to finish this one off um it is from first aid beauty it's the hello fab coconut skin smoothing priming moisturizer i've gone through multiple bottles of this before i love this primer i think it is so beautiful i definitely could see myself purchasing this again although i think it would not be until like the springtime just because this is definitely more of a spring summer primer in my opinion it gives this really beautiful almost like pearlescent glow to the skin it smells like coconut um and i just i absolutely love it for a glowy hydrating primer um i'm trying to get through my primer collection right now and i'm definitely finding as i don't know if it's that as i'm aging or just like as i just, just what i'm preferring right now is a gripping primer that is really gonna lock my makeup in all day so 
I'm not necessarily looking for an, a hydrating primer at the moment, but this is the primer that made me fall in love with primers. So it's always going to hold a place near and dear to my heart. And I could absolutely see myself purchasing this again. But again, very excited to add another primer empty to my end of year empty. After that, you guys, that was a very short yet sweet um, finale to my rolling project 10 pan. I will be doing another rolling project pan at the beginning of or throughout 2024. So I'm sure probably on the first of the year, I'll be posting my introduction to that. I've already got some products in mind that I'm looking to work on in that project and I am really 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 hopeful that I'll finish 24 products in that rolling project 10 pan next year but that is it for this year's um, rolling project 10 pan I can definitely tell I'm getting panners fatigue again and I'm just very excited to take the month of December off but I hope that you guys enjoyed I hope you're excited for vlogmas I've got tons of fun content planned if there's anything specific you'd like to see let me know in the comments below let me know if you're taking the month off of December for month off of panning I would love to know who else is doing it but thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting me and my channel as you guys always do I love you guys so much and I will catch you in tomorrow's video bye